Hi guys, here is how you can install Microsoft Text to Speech to your computer. Microsoft offers free text to speech. Let me quickly demonstrate. Let me open Microsoft A's. And here is my sample text, which I want to convert to an audio format. Let me quickly drag it to Microsoft A's. Drag to A's. Select all. Ctrl plus A and click on Read Aloud Selection. All interesting and essential things you need to know. There are so that's Microsoft A's text to speech. You can also choose a voice. There are lots of options and you can also adjust the speed. This works great. However, it does not allow you to save it as MP3. You will have to record the screen. So instead of that, let's install this to your own PC and you will be able to save it as MP3 as well. For that, we will be using this GitHub repository. Like every other projects, we will be using Anaconda. But you can directly install Python and use it as well. For those who do not have Anaconda, go to anaconda.com, click on free download. You can give your email, I will skip registration and download the installer and install it on your PC. After this is done, go to the start menu and type Anaconda and open this Anaconda prompt. So first, we need to create a Python environment. For that, type conda create double dash name is dash dts python is equal to 3.13. This will install the latest Python version as of now. Enter. Y and enter. So the Python environment has been created. Let's activate it. Conda activate age dash TTS. You will see this base name has changed to age dash TTS. Now we need to install age TTS. For that, type pip install is that TTS and enter. So we have successfully installed TTS. Now first thing, we need to list voices that we can use. If you go to the Skitter page and scroll down, so with this command, this will list all the voices. Simply type is that TTS and double dash list dash voices and enter. Now here are all the voices you can use for your project. So let's use this. Let's use this one. You can use the exact voice you want to use. Let me copy this without this dollar sign and paste it to the notepad. Here is it. Now in this part, you can add your own text. For now, I will only copy this part, add your text here. This is for the voice you want to use. You can choose any voice you want. Let's choose one of the voices and replace it here. And now, also let's choose the location where we want to save. Let me save it to the desktop. In fact, I will create a new folder. Copy this address. And here after write media, paste the location. Make sure to use the inverted commas. Likewise, this is for the subtitles in SRT format. I will use the same location. Make sure to use the open and close inverted commas. So this is done. Copy this and paste it here. And enter. This might take some time depending upon your text length and voice used. So this is done. And here is the output. We forgot to change the file name. This is the name the file will be saved as. You can use any name you want. Anyway, let's open this. 
All interesting and essential things you need to know. And now you have text and audio as MP3. But please make sure you are connected to the internet. By the way, to make things much easier, we have also created this portable HTTS. With this, you do not need to install anything. If you want to run the CMD command, you can use this and run the similar commands. Or, we have also made this one. You can choose the voice you want, also categorize as male and female voices. Select where you want to save it. And you can choose the input file. And you can simply generate audio. So with this, you do not have to install anything. And the audio will be generated. Hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.